So a while ago I had kept praying to God, Lord, what is my calling? Lord, what is my calling? What do you want me to do? You know, for a while because I've had people in the past, you know, tell me stuff like, oh, he's going to do this or he's going to do that or he's going to do that. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I don't need to listen to people. I need to listen to God. So I started to pray and I started to get more in the word. Um, actually, starting last year, around March, I started, or around the end of February, March, beginning of March, I started to get really into God and really into the word and really into him and who he is and wanting to find out more of the God I serve, not necessarily because it's routine I come to church every Sunday or because it's my parents' lifestyle, um, but I want to know for myself. And I want to know um, what he has for me, what's out there, and what um, and who he is, really. So I decided to um, start reading the Bible, and I was actually watching Beth Moore um, a while ago, and she had said, if you want to know the God you serve, she said, read Matthew to Revelations. That is the God you serve today. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just kind of opened it up, and I started reading Matthew, and ended up going through Revelations, and then I started over. I was like, well, I'm done. Now what? And so I was like, start over, you know? So I started over at Genesis, and we're working our way through. Um, at times, it, it's it's hard. It's really hard, but it's, it's all worth it. Um, I'm sure through this YouTubing that God has led me to, um, we'll get into more about my past and what I've been through and what God saved me from. From There is lots and lots of things He has done in my life that I knew it was God because people told me, hey, that's God, but I never knew for myself that that was God. So um, not that long ago, I was praying, Lord, I want to know that that was you. I want to know that, not just because people told me that that was you, not just because of this, that, or the other, but because I want to see that that's you in my life and that that's you working because I have to know for myself again. Um, so anyway, so a while ago I started asking God, Lord, what is my calling, what is my calling, what do you want me to do? And I was in the shower, you know, minding my own business, and all of a sudden it just came over me. And it was just like YouTube. And I was like, YouTube? I was like, no. I was like, not saying that there's anything wrong with people who do YouTube at all. But I was like, I am not that kind of person. I love to watch YouTube. I love to watch people on YouTube and good for them. But that's not me. So I was like, whatever. So I brushed it off. Came to me again. And I was like, okay. I was like, fine. I was like, God, if this is something you want me to do, I said, lead me through it lead me through it, lead me to it, um, and so I just kept praying and kept praying and praying, I got out of the shower, uh, this is a different time, <laughs> I got out of the shower, I actually created an account, and I was like shaking, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I just do this, did I just start it, what's happening, what do I do with it, I don't know what to do, and I was like, I don't even know what to say, I don't even know what to talk about, like, I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing, you know, um, and so I started looking up stuff, and people who actually do it, and my cousin, um, my cousin's wife, Olivia Oaks, shout out, girl, <laughs> she actually does it, um, and she's really good at it, and she looks so comfortable, so I kind of reached out to her, and I've been watching you too, I feel like God has drawn me to you too, because just recently, I have been, like, actually, like, on it and watching it. I don't even watch TV anymore. It's like, that's like all I do now. Um, and I felt like he told me to start in January, but it's now April. And of course I have not started. I kind of read an article online. And I got intimidated. Um, it said, if you are starting to do this for, for yourself to get famous, for this to be a footing of some sort other than what God has, um, wanting or desiring you to do, then don't do it. So I started getting scared and I think, is this me or what's this God? Is this something he wants me to do or am I being stupid, you know? Like, or am I, or is this just an idea that I'm, you know, kind of being selfish and I'm not doing it out of the fullness of my heart for God, wanting to draw other people to Christ. So I just shoved it off and it kept coming back to me. I kept saying, no, 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 that's not me, that's not me. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Like, Lord, why, why would you have me do that? I can't do that. So I kind of did a trial video, <laughs> and it was, it, you could tell that I have never been in front of a camera before. Like, it's just so uncomfortable. It's like vulnerability, vulnerability, I guess that's how you do it. 
correct me, y'all. Um, but, and I sent it to my friend and she was like, you look really nervous. And I'm like, I am nervous. This is frightening. It's actually like intimidating. And just last night, I was talking to God. I'm like, God, it like all came out. I was like, God, show me my faults. Show me what's going on. And, and I was like, God, I'm actually intimidated by this. I'm intimidated by my calling. There's a lot of people that could watch this and send out so much hate and anger. And especially in a world full of today, um, it's just, it, it's hard. And I'm like, I want to be certain that this is something you need and want me to do because I can't, I, it's not going to be what you need it to be if it's not something you want me to do. So I was like, if this is you, you've got to bring me through it. It's got to be God-filled, God-ordained. God, It's got to be God-flooded and God-filled. It's got to be God-led. Because if this is just my idea of something, it's not going to be what he needs it to be. It's got to be full of God and of his goodness. So this is my... First video, if you can't tell, <laughs> I'm sure you can't tell, um, but Lord be with me, um, like for real, like I just pray that someone says, Lord be with me, I just can't, so, um, so that's about all I have to say so far, a little bit about myself, I, um, I'm actually in the church <laughs> um, media room, if you don't like my lovely flower, <laughs> tell me what I could put behind myself. <laughs> It's so pretty though, right? And like, this is like stick on, right? It's like a sticker, ain't that hilarious? Um, but this is the place where I can like be by myself because I'm intimidated to have other people like watch me like talking to a camera. It's like really weird, it's like awkward. So I'm like, well, what do I do? And I'm like, oh my gosh, my parents have Bible study on Thursday. So, you know, I can come in here and be by myself. So that's what I started to do just now, so. Um, anyway, and a little bit about myself. I work at Christian Hospital. I work at pain management with a wonderful group of people. Um, if I knew how to be cool with YouTube and flash a photo, I would. Um, of all my lovely coworkers, they're great. Um, and I'm a medical assistant there, and I work for a wonderful nurse practitioner. Um, she's very awesome, and I really like her a lot. Um, she's really good at what she does. Um, I love my team and the people I work with, and it's just really nice being there. Um, but that's really about all I do. I have a little dog. His name is Oscar. He's wonderful. I've had him for it'll be four years on the 26th. So happy birthday, Oscar. <laughs> um, but y'all just pray for me. Be nice in the comments. <laughs> because I truly, I'm asking, I'm riding the, the grace plane. I mean, I will tell you, I don't even have a clue about editing about YouTube, about the whole out there world, you know what I mean, it's, so, I just want to say a prayer, and I want to invite God into this, um, series, or this, um, episode, or whatever you want to call it, um, so Lord, I, I will be reading from a paper, um, because I wrote down some, a uh, prayer that I would like to say, um, so Lord, I want to thank you for bringing me this far and the distance we have yet to go. Thank you for saving me and pursuing me from many, many things. Um, you are good and you are faithful, and I praise you for who you are. You brought me here to it, and I pray that you bring me through it. And guys, pray that for me too. Um, I invited you. I invite you into this YouTube world. <laughs> I believe um, you told me to begin this. So in your name, guide and lead it. And let all who watch find the truth and may the, and may the truth set them free. Let them know you and come to you, Lord. And if they get anything out of this, let them get um, that you are good, you are faithful, and you are our everything. And there's no other name like it. There is no other just amazing grace than the grace of Jesus and knowing who he is and experience a relationship with him. And Lord, I give you all these things. I lay them at your feet. In Jesus' name, I pray. Lord, be with me now. In Jesus' name, amen. So, I made it, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for bearing through this with me. Um, I'm going to try to do um, a thing called That's What's Up Wednesday. So, I'm going to try to keep it on Wednesday. Um, hopefully, God will give me um, stuff to say and talk about and just, you know, um, 
what to do and what work to give you guys, but so that's what's up this Wednesday. So be back next Wednesday um, for another video, hopefully. If not, it will be sometime. So thank you so much.